Hey guys, welcome back to StarCraft 2. And we got a couple of changes to, to make here. So, um, if you've been watching the last couple of episodes, I may have made some assertions about Dragoons and things like that. There was one thing I actually didn't really think about. I mean, they do adv more apparently higher damage and some other shit. But I basically said Stalkers are best because Blank Micro is amazing. And the one thing I didn't quite take into account is I've been fucking doing all these missions. Like, I, as I said, I do them before I kind of do them for you. And um, basically, in the next mission, we get uh, sentries. Uh, and so then I realized that I was kind of microing a lot of units. And I thought to myself, hey, this is a brutal walkthrough, and not everybody has fucking piano fingers. So, as fun as that, as entertaining as it is, and it's totally doable. Uh, I want to kind of show you a little bit of a simpler way of doing it. So we are actually going to go with the Dragoon in this mission. There's a good reason for that. It's because we're going to um, we're going to combine that with the uh, Immortal uh, Shadow Cannon Nerezim variant. Um, also, I, I want to mention something about this. He doesn't have a shield here at all. Uh, like this guy has the barrier, which absorbs 100 damage, and this one says uh, increases it by 100. percent This one doesn't have a shield. They are not that tanky. Uh, that's something very interesting to take into account. But we need this is actually this is the necessary thing that we're going to have for this mission. So <clears throat> I highly recommend you do the, the following things. Um, for the zealots, we're putting them to shadow charge now because we no longer need area clear. Um, at least not for these because we're facing protests mostly. Uh, the the stun is better. Uh, we're switching into dragoons just so we don't have to micro as much and just I guess for fun. Um, this is the more important one. Put this guy on the Shadow Cannon if you haven't already. I mean, I'm gonna just keep it on like that, I think, for the rest of this campaign, but this is pretty important, because you're gonna, we're gonna be using this, uh, quite a bit. So this means, uh, in the next mission we won't have to micro that much, we'll just have to micro Shadow Cannon and potentially sentries, and that's it. So, this one, very important, so just do Dragoon, Annihilator, and Centurion, um, I guess. Uh, for Solar Core, I'll show you what I got up there. I'm gonna actually mention another thing. Um, I think that Orbital Simulator and Chrono Surge, they're both basically, they, they serve a very similar purpose, but you don't need both. Uh, you just need one. So if you go for Warp uh, har Harmonization, uh, then get Chrono Surge for the economy boost early on, because the minute you get 75, you just pump out the rest of your probes. Uh, but the Orbital Simulator, I think, is actually pretty fucking good. Uh, even without, so I just I'm, I don't know if I'm a big fan of warp harmonization. I, I don't I don't think I, I like it all that much. I'd rather just set rally points. It could still be good. Welcome. But anyways, let's uh, get going. <clears throat> if we are to obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Taldarim are preparing to fire upon the facility. Uh, destroy gateways. Yeah, we're not doing any of this shit, so don't, don't even worry about it. We get sentries. Hyrock, the Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius' orbital defenses. I am First Descendant Alarak. And I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! Alright, first things first, economy. So we get that going, we get the guys going. I uh, probably should get the... This guy going too. The displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. Welcome to the giant laser beam. Just don't walk into the fucking circle and you're fine. So, generally, kind of what we're doing here is we're going to go slightly for uh, an Immortal Rush. 
Uh, and the reason I do that is because one or two really early on really help out here, but we're not going to actually move out too much here, so don't even worry about it. I'm just trying to get a... These two gateways will serve us fine. Like, look how much... We, we have, like, no... I am detecting a Tal'Darine force amassing outside of our nexus point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, these sentries were left behind. Let me activate them. They are quite effective at restoring shields to nearby warriors. Yeah, welcome to these sentries. These ones have, like, nothing but shield recharge and guardian shield. They're kind of weird, but, you know, whatever. Let me just make sure that's continuing to make, make things. So we, the little guardian shield reduces uh, attack damage by two for all friendly units, which is good. And there. Our gateways are now calibrated to warp them in as well. We're not going to move out for a little bit. By the way, this Solar Lance, absolutely fantastic for taking out like little waves of guy enemies that are just heading, barreling down your uh, your Nexus or whatever. <clears throat> They're very good at that. So generally our end goal here is to make four gateways and then one robotics bay. And then we're going to use the... Um, uh, we're going we're gonna to chrono the, the robotics bay in the end. But generally speaking, we actually have to have... Um, we need to get our upgrades out to, uh, as well, so... Uh, there is no expansions. Well, there is one on this map, it's right here. Uh, but we don't go for it, it takes too much time. This is a timed mission, so we don't have all the time in the world. So, generally, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to rush out of Mortal. We do not move out until we get another attack here, uh, which should be coming fairly soon. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and as I said, we're going with the Dragoons just because I'm going to give you less to micro. Uh, I mean, as I said, like it's it's piano fingers if you if you do it any other way. And I, I I figure I should just limit it in some fashion, you know. And there we go. We got our first immortal coming. Now we need to get a another pylon. You have not enough minerals. So that's our first. Uh, well, it's an annihilator. It's not, it's not an immortal. And then that should be good. Oh, uh, we also need to get this guy producing something. Probably shields first. All right, there's our first attack. Got guardian shield death. We need to get another zealot or two. Look at that guy. He has a baller. The dark coil. All nearby enemies get get stunned. That's great. So probably with this guy we can now move out. We need we need like two more probes though. Uh, we need to also get this annihilator being made. Uh, we can we can just chrono this guy now. Alright, so now we are gonna go here. So now you can see when, when you select this guy, when you select your main battle group, it kind of shows you now, like, uh, just the Annihilators. If you were doing Stalkers as well, I noticed that it, when you select your group, it doesn't, it highlights the, uh, the Stalkers first for some reason. So we go, like, here, we go, like, destroy that. Oh, look at that. It's fucking fantastic, man. And that's what we use this, uh, Shadow Cannon for. It's, it's friggin' great stuff. And we got another more, uh, Annihilator coming up real soon. Uh, we can make another two Dragoons. I was trying to debate if I even need more than uh, that many gateways. Maybe three gateways is a good limit, actually. Okay, so you can see we always have the Shadow Cannon here. So basically on any kind of big unit, like, oh look, another mortal. Okay, we'll just fucking snipe it from here. Uh, we, we can just party shield this, actually. So the sentries are actually kind of nice, um, and to select them, you gotta kind of hit tab, and then you'll get the guardian shield option, which is something that you'll probably be doing. Oh, and also we're gonna make uh, pylons kind of along the way. Uh, we can also we can use another gateway. Actually, I've decided I'm gonna actually hotkey the robotics facility number two. Let's get all the upgrades down, and this guy's just gonna follow us up there. We may make some cannons in a little bit. Um, I think that's why actually, you know, maybe three is a nice number for gateways. It appears the station scientists were storing raw solarite here as well. If possible, we should obtain it. Excellent. Solarite gathered. And we get some resources actually around here as well sometimes. Uh, we can also get another one of these. I need way more fucking pylons. That's fine. Then we can go, we can destroy that one, and then destroy that one. See what I mean? That's why they, That's why those cannons are actually just like the best thing ever. 
Yeah, I really need more pylons. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make another pylon over here. Our blades meet the enemy. Do some guardian shield stuff. I really actually quite like the robotics facility. It's actually one of my favorite uh, buildings and all this. And we're gonna now make probably exclusively zealots for now on. Uh, we have a now actually the ability to make a couple of cannons, but I waste all my resources actually on that. Eh, never fine. Make two cannons here. So the cannons are actually just meant for us to distract. Uh, and so we can, uh, I'm just gonna just wreck that kid. There we go. Now here's the problem. Dragoons are extremely bad at getting down ramps and shit like that. That's actually the thing I hate about them. Uh, we've discovered more sentries. I will activate them now. And we kind of get more sentries along the way. There's these little um, doors that will eventually open up. You don't have to worry about them right now, the second. Uh, yeah, things coming along. And there's our two cannons. Alright. So, here we go. We're, here we have our fucking. Something that we're gonna shoot out. Okay, let's just back up for a sec. See how I just use it to target things in the air? Just generally annoying things. That's our target. And more portals. And you see how this that this little pylon is actually powering the door? Hey, there we go, now it's open. So it's something to take into account. Okay, that's quite good. And now here we can see the beam over here. So we're 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 doing good so far. Now, if you're wondering where all those little uh, guys are for um, uh, the, 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 the bonus objective, you'll see it. So if any place kind of looks like it has too much shit, like it's it's a weird way to, of describing it, but if it looks like there's a lot of units and stacked defenses that way, then then that's uh, some, something that you, a place you basically shouldn't go. So I'm pretty sure up here is a problem. Actually, there's a side area over here, but this is not it. Like it, that just has regular resources. Um, I guess I'll just show you where they are. I know where they are, but basically, if something looks, if, if something doesn't look like the right, you're generally trying to trying to follow the laser. It is kind of odd, but yeah, I'm trying to describe to you best I can. But yeah, see how they have carriers and stuff? They have a lot of really massive units here. So, that's what we have to be careful for. Looks like we're actually running out of, uh... Yeah, like, we just have these phoenixes here constantly. Whatever, just kill it. Alright, first one is up here. For the uh, solar uh, solarite, as I said, it's never it's never in the bases. And we're, as I said, we're not going for any bases at all. Yeah, we can just keep doing that. Uh, and this can, this can now be chrono because we're actually done with that. So now we just have these guys. We have a probe. Bringing nearby sentries online. And here, here's something that we just we, we just send a bunch of uh, this is this is why I love the, the these these immortals for this uh, purpose. And uh, we're gonna actually set the rally point for the for these annihilators on one of these guys. There we go. We need more zealots, so we're gonna get that done. All right, we have a. We have some guys here that are actually probably okay. I think we lost. Them. Oh, there's actually some guy. Oh, okay. So there's something I may not have realized. There was actually something in the way there. So we're gonna have to send uh, some zealots into there. We actually have not used any of our. Uh, we haven't used any of our uh, uh, that resource I have. Here we go. This stuff, basically. I haven't used this, so I might as well use it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I would have saved it for that, but whatever. Let's just get the probe down here, because I'm pretty sure we have a mass little force coming over here. We're just, uh, we're just kind of sniping them from long range with that. There we go, we got them. These zealots can also join us now. 
So we're doing pretty good so far. Um, trying to debate what else to do. Probably get some more of these guys. And the robotics facility will continue to make units. I'm detecting movement from the Taldarin fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. War prisms. Clever. Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses, using them against us. So we're just letting it continue to rally over here, basically. And here we can actually just take out these guys right here. Actually, the, one of them can get taken out. Okay, we may have to take a break here for a sec, actually. Just uh, use the beam here. We're going to take a second here to build up here, actually, for a minute. Maybe, maybe the fourth one would be okay, because I'm uh, starting to run out of... Uh, getting rid of this stuff. We need a couple more units before I can move in. I wouldn't make more than one robotics though. I definitely wouldn't do that. Because having that chrono is actually just perfect. Like we're waiting for this to come out, the solar lance to come off cooldown as well. And we're gonna start actually using that now. Gonna take out these guys real quick. All right, over here we actually have some some more shit uh, that we can do. Our pylon is under attack. Well, we're just gonna take them out then. We have acquired all of the raw solarite samples. They are still in superb condition. You should see them. Okay, that the last solarite was over here, by the way. I just I don't want them taking out my pylons. All right, uh, let me make this guy into a gateway. And continue to move up and make another pylon right here. And, oh look, we have a carrier. I thought we kind of just nuke it from orbit. Really? Seriously? There's shield batteries? Okay, there we go. Look at these fucking like, little leeches here. We're gonna make some more uh, dragoons, I think. I think my immortal stopped following me. They stopped rallying. Alright, there we go. Fortunately, we're almost there, so we're okay. We could use our little energy thing here, but instead I'm just going to kill them with this stuff. Alright, here, that might be a good place to do it. We just need more vision. This guy, oh, they're all fucking dead. Just make sure we have enough zealots going in, and apparently these guys were not rallied on it either. Yeah, we're bait. We're there at this point. That's it. And we're in. Ta-da! Not even close. Acquiring access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artemis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of a Dune. Wait. There is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. We'll have a look see what that is in a minute. But obviously didn't kill the, the six gateways. Like, it was pretty close already as it was. I got like four of them. Yeah, I got four. So you have to go somewhere else to, to get them, so it's just not worth it. You wish to see me, Faye Smith. 
Artanis, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix? How... how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the source personality, I thought... well... He believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of Adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the wheel of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. And you fucking see? Nobody truly dies in the StarCraft universe. Nobody. These new purifier designs rival any technology our people have previously conceived. The replication data is the sort that allows accurate duplication of one's consciousness. Phoenix's personality may be accurate. How accurate? Within the 99th percentile. So there is a chance for discrepancy. Quite a minuscule one. And in a lifetime, how many choices does that variation impact? Who would you be with such a difference in the decisions you've made? Keep a watchful eye on Phoenix. If he is to help us, I want to know who he is. You and I have stood shoulder to shoulder, blades thrumming in the heat of battle countless times, and now you lead the Protoss. I well with pride at the mere thought of it. I was chosen to represent the hierarchy by the remaining Judicators and the clans of the Nerezim. I am still honored by their choice. Tassadar must be proud as well. Tassadar is gone, Phoenix. He fell, bravely sacrificing for his people. He saved us from annihilation. What? It... it cannot be. And... I... fallen to the Zerg as well? It has. How long have I lingered in stasis, becoming this... Dragoon? Do you know of the Purifier program, Phoenix? Of course. The greatest Templar minds replicated. Dangerous machines that had to be shut down. They were shut down, but we have never ceased the research, and still have tried to find ways to replicate our greatest Templar, to use that ancient technology. Why do you tell me this? I... I... We are facing a war like none we have seen before. We will need you in the days ahead. Maybe even the purifiers. Then my blades are yours, old friend. How does he not know what he is? Whatever. Okay, that's their unallocated shit. Alright. We have 15 slot right? That means we can do 25. Um... What do we put it into is the question we all ask. I mean, we could just do warp gate. Harmonization, I mean, I got really nothing else to put it into. So, sure, why not? We'll just give it a try. Not something I would particularly use, but whatever. Because chronoing and and uh, Orbital Simulator are both pretty bad. This means that, you know, if I do this, the... I don't know, you know what, no. I, I fucking... I fucking hate it. 
We're gonna do that. Guys, like, we need we need another group of things to come up, because warp and reinforcements... No. Like, basically everything in this column is too expensive, and you never want to use it, like, because I want to use my solar lines most of the time. Although, I will admit, in that last mission, I didn't get to use a... I, I actually had a lot left over. But, like, why is this cost 50 when it's infinitely more useful, and this costs 75? All of these cost 75 when they're infinitely less useful. Fucking weird. I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna stay with um, uh I don't know. I I truly do not know, because if I because uh, if I go into this now my then my economy is gonna be crap, and I personally don't mind them just being like uh, just rallied onto some unit to be honest. But I don't know. Fine, maybe, maybe we'll give it a chance. Maybe we'll give it a chance. We'll see how fucking much I hate it. All right, uh, we have an assignment available here. Have a look at that. We have acquired new robotic support technology for review. So this would be the uh, sentry types. So the new one that we get uh, does two shield restorations uh, for instead of just one. Uh, I don't know if that uh, it also decreases damage done in nearby units, which is the guardian shield. Okay, that's fine. Then we have the energizer, and this one's actually a pretty good one. This is actually I think one of my favorite ones. This one boosts the attack and movement speeds of friendly units, and also transforms to generate a power field. What do you know? I, that's actually very, very nice, this one. Uh, just because we've been using pylons this whole time to got, kind of get everyone over, but now now we don't have to do that. Now we don't have to make those like makeshift pylons anymore. So it's definitely this one, especially since we're going to be going into a system uh, of uh, how we're going to... Um, uh, we're gonna be make robotics units from the from the pylon fields, so I would definitely say this one. Although once again, it's it's just a question of like everything is okay here. Like there's no wrong choice. Oh. And we also have this one. This one's a pretty good one. So this is reconstruction. This is a good one. So charges in and and revives after taking fatal damage, and so it can only happen every 120 seconds. And they come back to life. Judging by how we use these guys to go in and just, you know, absorb a bunch of damage. This is like the one we want. This is the one we want, trust me. And I think that's basically it. We don't have anything else we want to do. Yeah. So we do definitely that one. Seeing Phoenix once more perplexes me. I feel sadness, but I should feel joy. It is said the warrior Phoenix was felled by the Queen of Blades. This approximation is not Phoenix, but he is a reminder of the loss you suffered. His voice, thoughts, his very presence. He describes memories we shared with such vivid recollection. Every instinct I have tells me that this is my friend, but all logic defies it. We of the Nerezim often ponder whether our people are the sum total of their experiences, or are more than them. A truth lingering inside us. In time, we shall see if this phoenix has his own truth, or is little more than a flawed forgery. the master construction of the Zelnaga now. They're understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar. It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The homeworld of the Selnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. Be in error. The 
Alterigan Rift. That is impossible. Nothing could survive within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Carax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. Zeratul, many thought you mad. And yet, once more, you have seen truer than us all. The Keystone leads us into the Altarian Rift, to the Zelnaga home of Ulnar. It is my destiny to carry your mantle, old friend. I will wake the Zelnaga and honor your legacy. Uh, that will be for next time, guys. So, hope you're enjoying and take care. Goodbye.